Hey YouTube, Hambo, along with uh, the chicken that would not die, and God knows we haven't been trying. <sighs> Seriously. How could you guys aim a flamethrower that close and miss? How do you do that? It's a flamethrower. Yeah, never mind. It's very hard to get good help. Some things I think you have to do all by yourself, Marvin. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> some stuff came in the mail. Got a stropping update and some new blades that I wanted to show you all. First of all, the one and only Gavco sent a package. And uh, in it was something I'd been expecting and, and a little surprise, which I thought was very cool and very timely because I was just playing around with this. But first of all, there it is. My very own Widgidashi. Oh, man. I'll tell you, I've been messing around with this all afternoon. This is definitely going in the EDC. But um, he has absolutely created uh, something beyond a masterpiece. I mean, there's another grade of sharpness now. There's sharp, scary sharp, stupid scary sharp um almost insane scary sharp the always fun insane scary sharp and then there's gavco <laughs> i mean i very rarely have had a blade that literally sliced through my car door well no not quite but this is as you've seen if you've watched his physical this is precision surgical steel made by precision surgeons no uh made by uh the metalsmiths from uh, his home and it is just an incredible piece of work I dig the fact that it's got the laser etched gavco logo on it and it is a whole new series of sharp it it's just amazing uh you know what the cool thing is about having something that's surgical steel you can now cut yourself just like a surgeon and it works I can't wait until I finally get appendicitis or something I'm I'm just gonna save the money and and, and do it myself it's great you know um, seriously it's it's an amazing little device I've just started to play with it uh, and I'm sure as the days go on the edge is just incredible uh, According to what Gaff said, it's going to hold the edge for quite a while. The little Kydex sheath is amazing, holds really well, um, keeps it very secure, still gives you the opening for the uh, for the wrench tool, and uh, it's just cool. So, thank you for that. Uh, he's still got some left, by the way, so if you want one, <clears throat> I can definitely recommend it. it. I wouldn't try picking your nose with it. Uh, but the bleeding has subsided, so um, we'll wait and see how that heals up. But uh, all the nose hair is gone, you know. So thanks for that. I uh, also in that package, he had told me he was going to do this. He sent me a little sheath for that buck uh, light that I had, and I had just gotten through stropping this when the mail came on the four stroke. And I'll tell you something not only is this now almost insane stupid sharp it's gotten to that level but it now has this great new little sheath I mean I just every time I see one of his pieces of work I'm just amazed and this is just so cool thank you so much Gav uh, it fits perfectly uh, it's very stylish thank you very much I love the Valerie Ann Green as we're calling it now and uh, it's just really cool and speaking of the stropping you guys remember this this is my uh, benchmark chisel point that Gav did the uh, glow in the dark scales on okay and to tell you the truth chisel points are a pain in the butt to try to sharpen well I just did the strop on this and I don't have paper handy but this will now do an S cut with no problem it's not insane like the Wijidashi, but it's uh it's the next level down. 
it, it is just amazing how easily that's stropped and how well the edge is held. It's just that that uh, stropping block is the way to go. I'm telling you. Uh, some of you have already bought some. Uh, I don't get anything out of it, but uh, I'm telling you, I did it. I recommended it for the community, and it's really cool that uh, people are using it. So, good stropping update. Thank you again, Gafco. And uh, that's one thing that came today. The second thing was, <clears throat> especially since he arrived, I've had a lot of people sit me down and uh, just look me straight in and go, Bud, you have totally lost your marbles. Just, the bag is empty. The circle is bare. You have dumped the whole thing. And you know what? They may have been right. So what did I do? Get myself together? No. Analyze? No. I got more marbles. Specifically. Oops, sorry there, Marv. Well, not really. There's a company called Marbles. I think you've seen, if you've watched Gavco's channel, you've seen the uh, the giant hatchet that he just did for uh, Muddy Desire. But they make a large line of hunting and work knives. Very affordable, and I've actually seen a couple of them. They're kind of cool. So I ordered two. They came today. Uh, they're both fixed blades. This is the uh, seven and a quarter inch Skinner. Comes in a nice little, very nice fitting Cordura sheath has the marbles logo on it. It is full tang, and actually, I think it's kind of cool. Now, by all intents that I can see, this is 420 HC, but I love the shape of the blade. It is very comfortable to hold. It is full tang, okay. And uh, it's got the little bone insert right there. Nice detail of trim. It is very, very comfortable in the hand. It is definitely controllable. And uh, it sharpened up real nice. Oh, actually, no, I haven't sharpened these yet. Uh, I haven't polished these off. These are just as they came, but it's very sharp right out of the box. But extraordinarily affordable. Uh, I like them. You know me, I'm more of a fixed blade guy. And... Uh, these may actually get carried. Uh, that's the one. That's the seven and a quarter inch Skinner. And then uh, there was another one I got today, and I just love the shape of this, and I was very, very happily surprised. This is their other Cordura sheet that has the Marbles logo on it. If you get some of their larger machetes and things, they do come with these sheets that has the sewn-in uh, logo. This is the Fieldcraft knife with the black craton safety grip. Very, very, very grippy. And that is actually a wicked looking blade. It's nice and thick. Sharpens to a nice spear point on the spine. Look at that belly. That is just a really, really nice utility field knife. Uh, again, they say it's the 420HC, so We'll go with that, again, made in China, but full tang, all the way down the grip, very good angle on the knife, uh, no jimping, but with the Craton, you may not need the jimping because of the extraordinary stickiness of this grip, so, but it is wide enough that you can put your thumb on it with absolutely no loss of control, gives you a nice, full, fine tuning on the control of the knife and just a very very nice satin blade I love that full belly on it and it's actually upswept the spine is basically straight but it is upswept along the edge and that's going to give you this might actually be a, an interesting self-defense knife as well just because of the shape of the blade if you were coming across that way with it, it would certainly do a, uh, oops, did I hit it? Might have. Uh, give you an edge that way. But uh, again, fairly sharp right out of the box. We'll go ahead and polish this off on the, uh, on the strop a little bit later. But really cool knife. The Marbles Fieldcraft with the black Craton safety grip. 
This is seven and three quarter inches long. It's a three and three quarter inch blade, whereas the other knife, actually, it's the same length as the other knife, three and three quarter inches. Uh, and just a very nice, solid looking knife. And again, for the price, I don't think you can beat it for the kind of knife it is. Anyway, there's that. There's the other marbles. Kind of neat. First experience with these. I'm really looking forward to trying them out. That's it. Be safe. See you later.